Hi everyone, Scott here again. In this video will be performing another Cisco Packet Tracer activity. This is activity 5.6.1.3 titled Skills Integration Challenge Routing IP Packets. And so this is the start, the pre-configured network that we begin with. And we can see already we have some problems before we even get into the details. Some connectivity issues here between our R2 central router and our S1 central switch. So looking at the instructions for this packet tracer, we can see that we're having problems getting connectivity between PC1A and our Eagle server. So we're going to go through and fix the connectivity problems that we're having and make sure that we have data communication between these two devices over this network. So to start, we're going to take a look at R2 Central, this router, and see what's going on why we have no connectivity over this Ethernet port. If we look at it, well, first of all, it has no IP addressing information, and the port has actually been disabled. So first, we're going to need to enable it, which gives us a good start. And second, we need to give it an actual IP address. And the subnet will be populated for us. Make sure that we come back and save that in case the power gets cycled. So it'll remember that port now as that specific IP address. I'm going to hit this fast forward in time. Oh, there we go, got a green light already. So it recognizes that we have communication through here at least now. So if we do a simple PDU to check, it's basically like a ping from computer 1A up to the Eagle server. We'll see if we have connection or if we have other problems. And so we're seeing that we failed. And sometimes it's just an ARP problem. But let's go ahead and create a new one in simulation mode to see what happened. So we got through to the switch, made it to the router, and got rejected at the router. So let's come take a look at why. because our router has no routing information. There's no next hop or anything set up for this. So when it receives data, it doesn't know where to send it, basically. So it can't send it on to router R1 to get it to the Eagle server. So we're going to need to go ahead and configure our routing table for R2 Central here. And so let's go ahead and we'll give it a static hop and tell it to go directly up to this other router that we're not supposed to look at, apparently. <coughs> hmm. So, if we're going to give it a static route, we'll use 0000 on mask 0000. Next top of 10, 10, 10, 6, which is the port on the serial port on this router here that we're trying to get to. We'll go ahead and add that in. And now if we run that PDU, we still have a failure. So let's take a look at why. Probably just that ARP thing again. So we actually have success now. So it was just configuring this router to get an IP address for this Ethernet connection, and then setting a next hop static route to our R1 router. And so by doing that, we were able to get that connectivity between the server and the, the end computers down here. Um, that's pretty much it for this packet tracer activity, so I will see you guys in my next video.